89 out of 300 out of 3,876 megabytes available. Um, this is important to keep a number on because we'll be affecting the amount of memory used by drawing. And making holes and things is the same as drawing. Um, so I, I can just draw a space, a hole, into one of these composite spheres that look a bit like Jupiter. They're actually tiger lily spheres with green spheres embedded in them. But when I draw into one, when I make a hole in one or a mark in one, the code has to actually duplicate that whole complex object, which is repeated many, many times in the world, as you can see. But it has to make a special. Co it has to make a copy of it that's different now because it has a hole in it. And so it has, to, it has to cut it out from its fellows and make a complete copy. So you can see that by drawing a little hole, I could easily induce the allocation of megabytes of memory. And in fact, that does happen. Um, I'll show a little bit more about that. So we're drawing these complex spheres here. And these are all copies of the same root complex sphere that you see populating the world everywhere. They're just the same. So each one is a single pointer. Okay, there's a blue ball. Now I'm going to make the blue ball small so that I can draw it into the complex sphere. Now I'm going to draw it into one complex sphere and keep your eye on the memory. 1833, two, I have a small blue sphere. I'm going to draw it there. First of all, you notice every, all the green subspheres change position. And that's because we made a copy using the original code, which has a random number generator. So every time you get a different one of these complex spheres, it's different. Now I'm going to draw a line of blue spheres through space, and actually I'll hit many of the complex spheres, or several of them. So we'll do quite a bit of allocation, 1914. Ah, see, we drew a line. Now I'm using 1968. So you see that I, I'm allocating, you know, many, many megabytes of memory simply by drawing a line of spheres. And I 